Welcome to Dream Infinity Studios tutorial, um, part two of the particle beams tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen the part one of the tutorial, I highly suggest you to do so, so you know how I got this uh, effect um, going. On part two, we're just going to really get down to just, you know, literally duplicating this effect over and over again so it looks really cool. Now, again, this tutorial is highly by chance, and I'm really just creating this tutorial video on the fly, and I really don't know the results that I'm going to get, so please be patient with me. Um, now, in the beginning, on part one of the tutorial, we imported a vector smart object from Illustrator, and we're going to use the exact same one that we, cre that we used to create this with, um, because, again, it's editable, and we can just rotate it, scale it, skew it, and just create something different. And make sure you have a backup in hand, and we're going to do it. And then we're going to name this Line Streak 2. So just to be a little organized. And then we're just going to um, kind of rotate this around, make it a little different. Um, try to anyway. Maybe skew it, kind of like that. And we're just going to do the same thing again. Uh, go to Distort, Twirl, and we're going to just twirl it. See what kind of results we get. Now I'm just pressing Control F right now to kind of um, apply the layers, I mean the uh, filter over and over again. We got a little interesting thing going on here. Let's try one more time and see what happens. Well, maybe not. Okay. Now I'm going to rasterize this layer pretty early on. Um, when you rotate a layer um, with the drawing. It doesn't really lose quality. It's only when you scale it up. Even if you scale it down, it really doesn't lose too much quality. Um, so I'm just going to rotate it. Let's see what happens if I flip vertical. Oh, kind of interesting. Okay. I'm mm going -hmm. to transform it again horizontal. Okay, maybe the other way around was better. Okay, kind of like that. Okay, now um, we created the twirl. We don't want to really cover her eyes too much, so maybe her across her face like that. Now we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to blur it just to soften it up a little bit. Um, we might not have to do too much, but we're just going to blur it. After we blur it, we're going to duplicate layer. And then we're going to apply a hue and saturation colorize mode. Now, um, again, just going to color it. Try to get the same color. Um, write down the number if you want the exact same color. I'm just um, I'm not doing it because I'm just it's, I'm not too I'm not being too picky. But you should write down the um, color um, coordinates for it. And now we created streak number two. Now I'm going to merge this so the blue and the white moves together. And uh, it's always good to kind of play around with. Um, layer effects to see what kind of effects you can get. Um, for instance, screen, color dodge, um, hard light, pen light, linear light. It's not working out too well because it's working, we're working in a black background, um, which, you know, which is okay. So I'm going to apply a hard light onto that even though it doesn't really make too much of a difference. So I made this little streak. So we have like this um, streak going, and if you want, we can erase some parts to make it look like a little 3D action going. So we have the streak moving down all the way across, all the way through her arm. We're going to erase this part to make it look like it's traveling around the back of her body. Um, there we go. So we're going to do the same thing again. Bring it in. Um, kind of rotate it. Now again, of course, if you desire, we could go back in. If you you can go back in Illustrator, create a whole new line because you you know you're just not happy with it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now, which that wasn't a really gracious line. You want to try to get a really cool 
um, line shape going. Um, maybe that's okay. Maybe. We'll see. So we're just going to uh, inter intersect these lines again. Select all, expand, join them together, boom, fill it. Copy, bring it into Photoshop. Now we have a new vector smart object in hand. Um, now we're going to duplicate this, keep this as a backup. Now we have one here, and actually we have two, so we're going to delete one. Okay, so we have one here. Now we're going to just really nail this down, rotate, see what we can work with on this one. Now it's not really a cool shape, so I don't know um, how cool it's going to turn out, but we'll find out. And <coughs> yeah, maybe I'll rotate a lot so it gives a clean feeling. Now, this really didn't make that much. I mean, now it's just these little thin lines. That's not what we're looking for. Um, so we're going to start over again. Oh, this part's kind of interesting right here. Guess we want to rasterize this. Rotate. Okay. Now we're going to blur this. I mean, yeah, we're going to blur this again. And then duplicate. Colorize. I'm just gonna uh, keep working at this. Um, again, it's the it's the same trick, really. Um, you know, it's nothing uh, hard uh, once you get used to it. I'm, I mean, I'm really working really fast now because I'm kind of um, working at this. And you know, as you can see, as I'm talking at work, um, I'm applying the twirl filter over and over again, still till this minute. Um, just to see if there's any common, uh, you know, cool things that happen. But we'll stick at this. Um, so you get the general idea. Um, I'm going to keep working on this, and on the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add some uh, environmental and atmospheric effects onto this, and we'll go from there. So thank you.